Yo hello everyone and welcome back again to a brand new video Notion Enthusiasts In this tutorial we are fostering a perfect collaboration between Trello and Notion Stick around for a quick guide on connecting Trello to Notion in 2024 Let's make sure your project details are effortlessly synchronized So guys let's get started So before we start with this video make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have the full information so guys the first thing is to simply head up to Trello click on the first link and of course log in into your account after you did so let me just change the page create a new workspace or connect to your already created workspace choose a work wallpaper here I'm going to add a title let's name it notion for now here we go and after we did that this is visibility let's keep it as it is and then let's click on create and here we are so guys here we have the dashboard of our workspace here we have every task every board every list and every map that we can create on Trello so to add notion with Trello it's pretty easy there is two ways to do so the first way is by going on to your list let's click here as an example let's name this notion after that click add a list here inside of this list I'm going to add a map click on it and let's name it notion as well here I'm going to add it and it has been added successfully after that click on it and this page should be opened here you will find add to map you will find power apps automating and actions Go ahead and click on power apps here we go and here you will find every single uh, extension or app that you can add inside of your account on trello or basic notes account on a workspace let's search here for notion and as you can see here here it is don't worry guys you might notice the logo is different so if i want here notion logo you will find that Notion logo is basically an N and a square or something like that or a cube but here we have basically um, like an S or something like that it, don't worry guys this is only a third party app which is basically gonna help us to connect uh, Notion with Trello so don't worry about it it is only the actual uh, third party app logo not Notion logo so here you just have to click on it and you will find basically uh, a video or a gif that can explain to you how it works uh, here everything for example you can also find here the features and a lot of things let's start with the features here are the features so it supports essential Trello fields so you need to have some of the deepest to a way integration for Trello you can synchronize card names, due dates, assigns, card status, card descriptions, comments, labels, list names, board names, and attachment, checklists, and more. You have a customized in real time. You need to integration, allow data to flow across tools in real time. Customize your flow to your exact needs and set powerful filters to define what you need synchronized make changes to your workflow and they will be reflected in your tools in real time and there is no code and self-serve you know to require no code in knowledge any team can integrate Trello with Notion and build the workflow they need in a few clicks so it's pretty useful and these are some reviews and now let's get to adding it simply all you need to do is to click right here to add it and here simply they will ask you for some permissions so here they are they will need an access to this table they will need to add content to this board such as a card attachments take action on this board by moving sorting and filtering cards or lists access user information in this board like username avatar initials and full name click right here to add it so let's simply click right here and it should be added in a few clicks now we didn't add a, like finish the setup we need to complete it so simply click on here 
United Synchronize, click right into it, and click here to authorize it. After we did that, we just have to give them the authorization by clicking on Authorize, and we simply have to wait. After that, let's just keep waiting. Got it? So now Trello is successfully connected with this third party app. So if you want right here, as you can see, we need to create a flow. So we need now to create a flow between Notion and this third party app. So click on connect your tools, click on start here. Choose here your working. So here we are going to choose Trello and here go ahead and search for Notion. Here, choose the type and in the board choose which board are you going to work in. For example, this one. And here we have to choose our Notion account. So we need to actually log into our Notion account by clicking right into it. After that, find your Notion account, select the pages that you want to work on or to add the information that you find on Trello into your Notion account. For example, you can create a specified page for it and click on allow access. After you're done, you simply have everything ready to go. So now Notion is now connected to this app. So got it? Here we have to choose the account, choose the database, confirm, and here we have it ready to go. So here choose the workflow direction. Do you want it from Table Tutorial or from Trello into Notion or from Notion into Table Tutorial depending on what you want. So here I'm just going to be choosing from Trello into Notion. You can even put the middle option which is all the way around. So from Notion into uh, Trello and from Trello into Notion. Let's confirm. Click on confirm once more and we have everything ready. So now you have successfully connected your Notion account with your own Trello account. As you saw guys, nothing is very complicated, everything is a few steps to learn and it's going to be ready to go. So the process that we have made is pretty easy. You just have to create a workspace on Trello, own a Notion account of course with the Trello account and go to Power Apps so you can either go from a table or a list or from the Power Apps option that is going to be on the second menu which is right here. After you follow these steps, you will have your both app connected using the synchronized app that will help you to do so. So yeah guys, that was the it for today's video. If you enjoyed it, make sure to leave a like and subscribe to our channel and see you guys in the next tutorial.